baby duckling is hatched, it will believe that the first, uh, the first animal it sees is its mother. Did you know that? No. Yeah, well, it's an amazing fact. Uh, Guess what we're talking about? To die! <laughs> I mean, last time we did fish part one, so this is fish part two. Because there's a lot of funny stuff in the sea. You know that, don't you? <laughs> so, fish. Pretty amazing guys, those fish. They got backbones, just like you and me, right? Yeah. How about something in the sea that don't have no backbone? What's that, yo? A walrus has a spine. A whale? Whale has a spine. Shark? Shark has a spine. Alligator? <laughs> has a spine. Anglerfish? No. Okay, well, there are things in the sea that are called fish that aren't fish and don't have spines. Like a jellyfish. Jellyfish doesn't have a spine, I know. It doesn't have a spine, it doesn't have a brain, it doesn't have a heart, doesn't have lungs, doesn't have nothing. It just has venom. Venom. Oh, you know something about a jellyfish. Tell me what you know about a jellyfish. Jellyfishes actually hunt prey that are the same size as them. They penetrate them that are actually under like under their tentacles and then they spread then they spread their venom and then these and then the fishes and then the predator dies the prey the prey mm. okay well yeah yeah jellyfish the, the most venomous thing in the sea is the box jellyfish it's a kind of a jellyfish so jellyfish can be quite nasty jellyfish can sting you if you get stung by a jellyfish that's no joke. And, um, and also jellyfish is actually sting you because their feet. They're actually the same height or the same size. Foot. Yep. Well, anyway. Yeah, something else we need to talk about. Something I that's it's not a fish. Let me tell you something. What is like a fish? What is it? It's an octopus. Or a... Who's Octopus's brother? What's his name? Squid! Squid! Yeah, squids and octopuses. They are pretty wild guys. And the scientists, you know scientists, they have a special name for this kind of creature. They call them a cephalopod. Cephalopod. Do you know what their cousin is? Their cousin, just like our cousin is a fish, Octopus's cousin is a... Shellfish. Shellfish? Like a clam. That at one time in history, the cephalopods, or the, the squids, and the octopuses, pie, were shellfish. And they had shells on their backs. Tell me what you know about squids and octopuses. Okay, one of them actually squirts ink. Yeah, they squirt ink. Why do they do that? To get away from other predators that want to eat them. Mm. That's right. And also some of them, like the giant one that's actually has like the giants. Like the giant one that actually has like the like a like a up uh, like a like a jellyfish. It's really, really long. And the and the even larger one actually has like these like these sharp things like to hold on to grab things. Well, they have they have sharp teeth that, that, that bite things. Even the mollusks or the clams, they have they have a, a raspy tongue that they use yeah. to, to rip food up. So if you got and caught I'll, by a giant clam, I'm gonna tell you something really quick. Even octopuses have mouths like that. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The crack mm-hmm. open. Mm. Do octopuses have brains? Do they have big brains or small brains? Big in other, brains. In other words, yeah. Are they smarter than a fish? Is an octopus smarter than a fish? Yes. I resent that. How much smarter? The octopuses actually have bigger brains than us. Oh my god. You ever had an octopus in your class at school? They live in the water to breathe. What if you put your school in the water? Could you have an octopus in your class? That's actually really difficult to do, but you actually suffer breathing under the water because you don't have lungs. Because your lungs only breathe up up the surface and you cannot breathe underwater. Because there's no because there's no air Scuba underwater. Tank. <sighs> Scuba tank. Scuba tank? Mm. Yeah, you, you can use that also. So if we had a scuba tank and we moved the school to the water, then you could have an octopus in your class. Um, also, all the stuff will just float. Yeah. Like all your, all like your have supplies. To nail it down. There's a lot of problems to having a school, which is unfortunate because the octopuses would really like to go to your school, but I guess they can't. But they can also destroy your school. Yeah. By yeah. opening the door with their beaks. And eat all the students. That would be no good at all. Actually, octopuses are not as smart as we are. Not nearly as smart as we are. Yeah, they actually have tiny brains. Well, they don't have tiny brains. They have very unusual brains because octopuses, they have many brains, actually. But, I mean, it raises the question of what is a brain. They have different nerve centers that process information in their arms. So their brain is not like ours. It's a very different kind of brain. Our, but us human beings actually have brains that are big. I only have one brain to think. We only use 10% of our brain. Yeah. 10. I made 10. 